one of the last times to see folks together here in the Memorial Stadium on the floor ahead and get started. Let's say goodbye to number one, Gavin Rachel. We have four of the five vice mayor, Jack, and Leslie Rachel. Number two, Jackson Owen Gass. This is Mary Stephen Bill and it's Emily Gass. Next up will be number four. Let's say goodbye to number four, Kyle Auger. And then his pair, Chris and Michelle Auger. Let's say goodbye to number seven, Cooper Norwell. And then his pair, Patrick. Here, Norwell. Let's say goodbye to number eight, Jake Legando. And then his parents, Pat and Krista Legando. Let's say goodbye to number 11, Dylan Holler. And then his parents, Sam and Don Holler. Let's take on to number 23, Adam Lucinda. And his parents, Jason and Amy Lucinda. Next up, we have number 26, Brady Hess. And his parents, Jay and Terry Hess. Let's say goodbye to senior cheerleader, Abby 
on the next play and your assignment and good things will happen. Stick together. What I want to see tonight is that confidence that we have. That swagger that we have. That big play belt getting up there. Over and over and over again. Make it so they want to get on their bus and go back to their poor home in Edison tonight. That's what I want to see. Can you do it? Yes, sir. I have no doubt in my heart you will get the job done. No regret. No fear. No regret. No fear. No regret. No fear. No fear. No fear. We fight. Let's Take your hands on your feet. People on the first team to the east end of the stadium. If you've got a player out there, you're up to the Tigers. If you're part of this team, you are up to the Tigers. But you are part of this community tonight. You are up to the Tigers.
Since seventh grade, we've all loved each other. We played as hard as we could. Uh, we've lost a lot along the way, but we've stuck, uh, stuck together through this whole journey. 
what would you say might be some uh, areas that you think you guys have improved in from start to finish this year? Uh, definitely vocal leadership. I think every senior has stepped up. Uh, for captain's voting, each one of us got one vote from a player, so that's, that's a big deal. Tonight, three touchdown passes for you, one touchdown run. I thought the offensive line did a great job tonight protecting you guys, giving you time to operate. To, what can you say about those guys? Uh, they're in the trenches. Uh, they do all the dirty work. They don't get enough credit, but they did their job tonight. All right, so a big win against Edison. It's a rival. You guys are still in the conversation for a conference title. Obviously, it looks like a home game is in the future, but what do you think this team is capable of accomplishing? Uh, if we just stick to our game, we can go really far in the playoffs, and I think that's what everybody would want to see. So we're just going to keep playing hard and do our game. Last thing. Uh, crowd tonight here on Senior Night. Obviously a, a lot of parents and family here. What would you like to say to the people that have uh, supported you guys? Uh, they came to every game. They've packed it out. They've given us energy. We can't thank them enough. All right, Dylan Hoyer, our pancake player of the game tonight uh, here in Week 10. What's your plan next? Uh, we all go on to the pancake house. start off by saying very proud of our defense and our coaches uh, for how you guys played tonight. That was impressive. That was inspired football. Uh, it's been a struggle at times this year for us in certain situations, but you guys answered the call tonight. They don't want any part of you. Trust me. They don't want any part of you. You sent a message loud and clear very early how that game was going to go. What we say, get on your bus and go home, right? That's what happened. Also, seniors, what a tremendous job you've done all year. It would have been real easy for us to put our tail between our leg or put our head down when we lost a game or lost two games in the way that we did. Some teams do not come back from that. You guys had no problem with it. You dealt with the adversity. What'd you do? You got better. We got better at the right time, okay? When we sat and talked back in December, what were our goals? Our go goals are still right there. We'll see. Most of them, maybe not all of them, but most of them. We're praying, right? Yes, sir. We're praying. We're gonna... um, also, like Coach Sage told you guys, in your training all year, we weren't just training for 10 weeks. Okay? We got a ways to go. But you take them one at a time. The nice thing is you're in. The nice thing is 99.9% .9 sure you're going to play one more game here at Huron Memorial State. There's no place like home, trust me. We'll get on the buses and do our traveling when we got to do it. But to get a chance to play here against a tough opponent, fill this place up one more time, do our magic out there between the numbers, amen. That will be a lot of fun, a lot of fun. So proud of you guys. Uh, appreciate your dedication. Appreciate your hard work. And as your coach, I appreciate that you guys are good students. You do good in school. You do stuff in the community. You help each other out. You help us out. And you listen. You listen to us as coaches when we talk to you about things. And then you go and you do it. Couldn't ask for a better group of kids. Nice job. Seniors. This is going to become a theme the rest of the way. All the seniors right here, sing that fight song loud and say, get on your fucking Let's go! Hey.